You don't know nothing about what kind of blood I got, what kind of heart I got beat here. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies and TV shows coming to streaming in December 2020. Herman Mankiewicz, New York playwright and drama critic, turned humble screenwriter, Mr. Hurst. I'd like to announce my return to professional wrestling. What do we do? Just figure out how this is all connected. For this list, we're looking at the most interesting, high-profile, and buzzworthy content coming to major streaming services this year in December. What are you most excited to watch? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Big Mouth Season 4, coming to Netflix December 4th, 2020. Post South Park, you wouldn't think there was much an animated series could do to shock us. But in 2017, Big Mouth debuted and proved us wrong. There's someone very special I want you guys to meet. Oh, uh, well, that's a pillow. No, 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 no. Not only does this show push the envelope in raunchy, jaw-dropping directions, but it manages to do it with a whole lot of heart, teaching worthy lessons along the way. In season four of this animated coming-of-age comedy, we're going to even more uncomfortable places, including summer camp. Hey, how's camp going for you? Absolutely terrible, you. That's a nightmare. The newly introduced anxiety mosquito seems poised to play a pretty big role alongside the returning hormone monsters. I'm Tito, the anxiety mosquito. It also looks as if we'll be taking a peek into the future and some sort of apocalypse scenario. This world is ending much sooner than we predicted. How much sooner do you think she means? Today. Then again, when you're a teen, doesn't everything feel like the end of the world? Number 9. The Expanse Season 5 coming to Prime Video December 16th, 2020. After three seasons, Sci-Fi chose to pull the plug on this big-budget series. I don't know if it's a single huge conspiracy, but someone high up in the chain of command is in on it. Thankfully, fans spoke and Amazon listened, giving the impressive show a new lease on life by renewing it for a fourth season. The series clearly did well on Prime Video because it's been renewed for a fifth and sixth season. My name is Marco Inaros. I am the commander of the Free Navy. At the end of season four, humanity seemed to be headed for interplanetary war. At the same time, the opening of the Alien Gates will see humankind traveling further from Earth than ever before to colonize new worlds. With the opening of the Alien Gates, we are at a crossroads. No longer will Belters be persecuted. It's safe to say the stakes have never been higher. And given the massive themes and storylines that The Expanse has previously covered, that is saying a lot. He's gonna unite a hundred separate factions into one nation. Number 8. Sound of Metal, coming to Prime Video December 4th, 2020. Sorry, Julie Andrews fans, this is not a weirdly titled sequel to 1965's The Sound of Music. That being said, Sound of Metal does have the makings of a modern classic. The film centers on Reuben Stone, a drummer who begins experiencing severe hearing loss. Your hearing is deteriorating rapidly. As any musician will tell you, for someone whose life revolves around music and performing, that's pretty much your worst nightmare. Hearing loss is also a very real risk in this profession. I need you to wait for me. Okay, you're in for me. You're my part. You're in for me. Okay, you gotta wait for me. With the hugely talented Riz Ahmed in the lead role, this promises to be a poignant and personal film, as well as an interesting exploration of the deaf experience. I'm trying to save my life. Ruben, the world does keep moving. It can be a damn cruel place. With 97% on Rotten Tomatoes, Sound of Metal already looks to be a hit. Number 7. Let Them All Talk, coming to HBO Max December 10th, 2020. Steven Soderbergh and Meryl Streep? Sign us up! Let Them All Talk is a comedy drama that follows author Alice Hughes, played by Meryl Streep, on a journey of self-discovery. And here's to reconnecting the gang of three we used to be. <laughs> Did you always talk like that? Accompanied by friends and her nephew, played by Lucas Hedges, Hughes takes a trip to inject some fun into her life and help her to finish her manuscript. Along the way, however, she'll also have to reckon with her past. I just don't know who you are anymore. Does anybody trust you? We really lost each other. With Diane Wiest and Candace Bergen in tow, this promises to be a thoughtful and insightful film further elevated by its cast of strong performers. Sometimes the sources that a writer uses are very close to home. Now, if only HBO Max would hurry up and expand to international markets. Number 6. The Midnight Sky, 
coming to Netflix December 23rd, 2020. 2020 has been a rough year. As such, a post-apocalyptic film set in the near future might not be what you're looking for in the lead-up to the holidays. But when you see the cast, we think you'll be singing a different tune. Is anyone out there? Directed by George Clooney, The Midnight Sky centers on a scientist, also played by Clooney, who's attempting to warn a crew of astronauts about the dangers of returning to Earth. There is an antenna that's stronger than ours. We get to that antenna, they'll hear us. Aboard the spacecraft is a group that includes such familiar faces as Felicity Jones, David Oyelowo, and Kyle Chandler. We made a promise to our families. From the looks of the trailer, we're in for a tense, emotionally charged sci-fi drama that's timely, beautifully shot, and maybe even a little hopeful. In our galaxy alone, there are billions of stars. At least one of them has the potential to support life. Number 5. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, coming to Netflix December 18th, 2020. This one's gonna be hard to watch. At the same time, it feels like a true gift. Directed by George C. Wolfe, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom is the final performance of the late, great Chadwick Boseman. You see, I know what I'm doing. No one will fire me, I don't care. And it would seem that the Black Panther actor turned in yet another performance fit for a king. That's to get the people's attention. That's when you and Slow Drag come in with the rhythm part, me and Cutler play on the break. The film currently boasts a perfect 100% on Rotten Tomatoes based on dozens of reviews. Pretty much every critic praises the performances of both Bozeman and Viola Davis as Ma Rainey. A period piece based on the play of the same name, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom is an appropriate tribute to the eponymous jazz legend and a more than worthy send-off for one of the greatest acting talents of our time. You don't know nothing about what kind of blood I got, what kind of heart I got beat here. Number four, The Mandalorian season two finale, coming to Disney Plus December 18th, 2020. The Mandalorian might not be the series any of us expected from Disney, but it's the show that the Star Wars franchise deserves. I thought you said you weren't the gambler. I'm not. In season two, Jon Favreau and company have continued to expand the Star Wars universe by exploring the outer reaches of the galaxy. We've made new friends, reunited with familiar allies, encountered old enemies, and of course, watched with glee as the bond between Din Djarin and the child has continued to grow. <laughs> the plot is speeding up heading into the second half of season two, and fans are expecting big things from the season finale as well as some major reveals. Many questions remain, but the one thing we know for sure, December 18th is marked off in our calendars. Number three, Soul, coming to Disney Plus December 25th, 2020. As far as non-holiday movies go, we can't think of a much better Christmas gift that Disney could give us than a new Pixar movie. Go for it! And unlike Mulan, which came with a premium rental fee, Soul is being made available to Disney Plus subscribers with no strings attached. Yes! Woohoo! The movie follows the life and death of Joe Gardner, a jazz pianist and music teacher whose time on Earth is cut short. After traveling to the great beyond, he finds himself working alongside the souls preparing to join the living. Don't worry, you can't crush a soul here. That's what life on Earth is for. A beautifully animated exploration of universal themes, Soul is already being deemed another triumph for Pixar. It also boasts an impressive cast, including Jamie Foxx, Tina Fey, Questlove, David Diggs, Angela Bassett, and more. There I am. What are we waiting for? Wait, not me! Number two, Mank, coming to Netflix December 4th, 2020. There are few films more influential or that have inspired more analysis than Citizen Kane. I'd make my promises now if I weren't too busy arranging to keep them. It's widely considered to be among the greatest films ever made, if not the greatest. As movie buffs will tell you, the behind-the-scenes story of its production is film-worthy in its own right. It's a bit of a jumble, the collection of fragments that leap around in time like Mexican jumping beans. Welcome to my mind, old self. Orson Welles served as director, producer, star, and co-screenwriter for the film. As such, screenwriter Herman J. Mankiewicz's role often gets overshadowed. Herman Mankiewicz, New York playwright and drama critic, turned humble screenwriter. In this biographical drama, however, Mankiewicz finally gets his turn in the spotlight. 
Mank is directed by David Fincher from a screenplay written by his late father, Jack Fincher, in the 1990s. Not all characters are headliners. Some are secondary. It's a project the director has wanted to make for over 20 years. Based on the reviews, it seems it was well worth the wait. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Season 4, coming to Netflix December 31st, 2020. You're enjoying this. Being back in action? Yeah. Letter Kenny Season 9, coming to Hulu December 26th, 2020. The Prom, coming to Netflix December 11th, 2020. We have come to this community on behalf of a young girl. I just want to go to prom like any other kid. All opposed. Sylvie's Love, coming to Prime Video December 25th, 2020. Life's too short to waste time on things you don't absolutely love. But how do you know if you love something absolutely? I guess when it's the only thing that matters. Wolf Walkers, coming to Apple TV Plus December 11th, 2020. You're a wolf when you sleep. <gasps> a girl when you're awake. <laughs> Robin! Something's happened to me. Yeah, I can see that. It's flipping great. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Wonder Woman 1984, coming to HBO Max December 25th, 2020. After the massive success of 2017's Wonder Woman, cinema-goers around the world have anxiously awaited the return of Diana Prince to the big screen. Diana, look at you. It's like not one day has passed. What no one could have predicted, however, was that this massive sequel would also be distributed on the small screen. Get used to it. After nearly two years of delays, Wonder Woman 1984 will soar into theaters internationally and land on HBO Max in the United States. As the title suggests, we're catching up with the DC icon in the mid-1980s, and the film's aesthetic seems to have really leaned into the time period. Welcome to the future. The trailer promises another epic, big-budget adventure that, once again, is held together by the massive heart of its heroine. For movie lovers who've missed blockbusters in 2020, this is the perfect gift. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.